Hey, what's up there everyone? Rockstar Paul 69 and Paul back with another career video, episode number 13 for round number 12, the Hungarian Grand Prix with the Sports Score Racing Point. If you did miss the German Grand Prix in the last video, shame on you. But for the first time this weekend, we actually get developments that work. So there's uh, there's something for us uh, to behold and uh, to have uh, afterwards. But uh, this is the last race of our contract. We will go for uh, uh, quite a bit more uh, at the end of this uh, video. I can promise you, we will we will we will be we will make them pay out their rear end for us. They they're gonna have to pay out their rear end to get us. Uh, so let's go have a look at the R and D tree. And you can see the two chassis upgrades that have come in. So we've unlocked another minor and an ultimate, uh, sorry, a uh, major chassis upgrade. So uh, I would think uh, at the end of this Grand Prix, if we go for, uh, well, at the end of this Grand Prix, we're definitely going for that. That is a, a given and a guarantee. We may go for the aero for Singapore. I don't think we'll get this Singapore aero. So we may have to wait on this lot until... Uh, until it's time but uh, we'll see we'll see what uh, becomes of it so uh, we'll get a new gearbox at the end of this race which uh, is always good it's always nice to have the new gearbox uh, in the car as uh, I would say so let's have a look at the uh, championship and uh, Lewis Hamilton in the lead of the championship with Valtteri Bottas uh, Sebastian Vettel in third followed by uh, myself in fourth then uh, Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen Pierre Gasly, the man, uh, in seventh. Sergio Perez, uh, Devin Butler, and Nico Hulkenberg round out your top ten in points. In the constructors, Mercedes are now romping away from Ferrari. We're in uh, third place, head of Red Bull and Renault, Haas, McLaren, and Alfa Romeo, bringing up the rear. Still with Kimi Raikkonen's two points from Silverstone, and uh, that does mean that uh, the likes of Giovinazzi, Kvyat, Albon, Kubica. And uh, George Russell have uh, yet to score. They have scored this. This right here. The goose egg. As we call it. The big old fat goose egg. <coughs> Plenty of time for them to change that around. But we are going to uh, get this bad boy practice. This is the circuit we hate. So we're not holding up too much for qualifying. But we're going to get practiced. We're going to get qualified. Hopefully we have a good practice and a good qualifying. And then if we do, we will see all of you guys on the other side of this for what should be a very lively Hungarian Grand Prix. Or a boy. It's always wonderful to come back to the lively Hungaro ring. A popular destination this, nice and close to the beautiful city of Budapest with some exciting racing to boot. Who can forget Michael Schumacher pushing his old teammate Rubens Barrichello up towards the pit wall in 2010, or those great races of 2014 and 2015 as well. 14 corners then for our drivers to navigate at the 2.7 mile Hungaro ring today. It's six lefts and eight rights around a lap here with average speeds in the region of 120 miles per hour. Anthony Davidson, a very warm welcome to you as you join me in the commentary box for today's event. Let's talk about Paul. That was a great podium in the last race, so can they keep that momentum going this weekend? There are never any guarantees in this business, but certainly the performance last time out would have boosted their confidence coming into this one. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Poole completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Vettel, Charles Leclerc and Gasly, Verstappen, Hulkenberg, Butler and Daniel Ricciardo, Norris, Rojan, Lucas Faber and Russell. Fiat, Raikkonen, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Robert Kubica, Perez. They've taken a grid penalty, and Alexander Albon picks up the last spot on the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Excellent job yesterday. We qualified above expectations. Let's go out there and put in a performance. Yes, folks, you are not seeing that uh, wrongly. Somehow we qualified this hunk of junk into P2. And we did it in Q2 on the soft, on the medium tyre as well. Which is going to give us 
absolute hell of a lot of grip uh, towards the end of the race. It is the one stop again, medium onto the soft. We seem to be making this medium uh, work in Q2. Excuse me, and that's what um, that's what we like to see. But hopefully, hopefully, we can uh, do the business in uh, in the race because this car is slow as shit on the long straight, and that's where you need all the power. So hopefully, we can uh, manage well. So let's uh, get out there. Let's do this. So here we go, then, folks, for the Hungarian Grand Prix from front row. Five red lights around, it's lights out, and away we go. And, uh, yeah, it was an absolutely atrocious start. We're already passed by Bottas, Leclerc, Vettel, Verstappen. We're going to have to send our traditional Hungary dive bomb down the inside, get on the grass a bit as well, and uh, hoe that Ferrari out the way. I will tell you now, I will hoe Ferraris out the way, and I will not uh, think twice about doing it because these Ferraris need to be uh, taught a lesson. All through practice, they were beating and banging on me, and I will not stand for that shit off them anymore. I will hoe them out of the way and I will take great pleasure in hoeing them out of the way. And uh, also uh, disobeying the track limits of this place as well. If uh, needs be as we go really defensive into the chicane and uh, oh wow we out broke ourselves there we're going to uh, take a penalty for that surely. And well I hope we don't but uh, you never know we may uh, end up taking a penalty for that. That might uh, work in the Ferrari's favour. But uh, I, I'll be honest I will hoe a Ferrari out of the way. You are, you are all put on notice right now. It will be beating and banging on fucking Ferraris today. No uh, word of a lie. And uh, if they have a problem with that, tough luck. Because uh, I think uh, second place we deserve at least a podium just for starting on the front row. We hopefully will win because uh, those mercs up the front are absolutely lethal. But here we go already on lap two. Watch the speed difference. We're having to go really defensive on uh, Sebastian Vettel. Charles Leclerc is following him. There you go. Look, he banged into the side. Of it. He was doing that all through practice with this German cheated piece of whatever. And you've got to be careful because Leclerc might uh, get involved there. But uh, we maintain P3 for now. <laughs> DRS becomes active on uh, the next lap, but uh, they won't be able to use it till lap four, which uh, I think is a darn good thing. As we go through turn four and now into turn five, it's nice to see that this setup in the uh, midst field here after turn uh, two. It is lethally loaded as we up, unbelievable. Uh, we up lock the brakes into turn six and seven again through eight, through nine. Run a little white. Turn nine's a lot better in this game than it was uh, last year, let me tell you. Through turn ten, through turn eleven. Absolutely fling the car and you can send it wide. You won't get a penalty. That's a uh, fair enough, fair game into turn 12 and uh, coming up for turn uh, 13 and then turn 14 the final two hairpins but you gotta get a decent enough run out of the hairpin because if you don't get a decent run out of this one DRS and uh, whatnot you will be susceptible and here we go will we be susceptible again to uh, Sebastian Vettel we're going really defensive again he's gonna go to the outside that's the way you go you wanna pass me there he goes again Get out of my side pod, you cheated... Pr I hope Leclerc passes you now. The Ferraris are side by side. Leclerc has got past him. So uh, we've hoed Vettel out of the way. But now we've got to hoe uh, Leclerc out of the way. <laughs> that's... Uh, and let me tell you, that's not going to work because Leclerc is a very, very fast and very uh, aggressive driver. As uh, Devon Butler and Lando Norris fight for P11 on the track. And I think Butler's going to get uh, that position. Let's see what happens. Come in the side by side down to turn uh, number two. Through turn two, they go still side by side. Devon's got the inside line for turn three and makes it work. Almost no, oh no, no not side by side to turn four. You got that Williams trying to get uh, through George Russell, I believe that is. That's a bit uh, naughty. They're still side by side going into turn five. Sort it out, gentlemen. Thank you very much. That's uh, P11 for Devon Butler. And uh, Sergio Perez, who uh, had an atrocious qualifying himself. Actually, no, he took a penalty for a uh, component change. I think it was a gearbox. He uh, tries to go the inside of Antonio Giovinazzi for P18. Don't know if that'll quite work. But uh, you'll have the inside for turn three if you, you fancy it. 
Will you fancy it there, Sergio? Yes, you will, but uh, here's Giovinazzi. Let's see if the uh, improved output of that... Uh, yes, it did well and move him into P18. Thank you very much. Now, on to lap number four. Here comes Leclerc. He's already gone to the... We've tried to put him in the wall like Schumacher did to Barrichello. That's the only way you're going to deal with these Ferraris today. Oh, I swear, God. Down the inside. Big break. And we've hoed another Ferrari out of the way. That's, that's just going to be it for this episode. We're just going to hoe Ferraris out of the way. Because uh, them Ferraris are lethal. As we go to Kimi Raikkonen, who's fighting with Lucas Weber for P14. And uh, that should be a job done. I think one of the Toro Rossos is uh, making a move uh, in the back there. But no. At least the AI are a lot more aggressive at Hungary this year than uh, previous years. But my god. This, this is incredible. We are slow as shit on the uh, main straight, but uh, everywhere else we're absolutely lethal and they can't get past us. That is the one problem with this circuit and it is a horrible problem as we get very twitchy through turn 5. And uh, speaking of very twitchy, look at this move into the chicane! And as we cut the chicane, that's... Uh, who is that? That is uh, the man Gasly trying to pass Nico Hulkenberg for P7. That was a bit ambitious going in there, but he's made it work. Fair play to the man Gasly. That's uh, some really aggressive driving there on uh, his part. P7 for him. So that means uh, we've got Leclerc, Vettel and Verstappen uh, right behind us as we uh, come around to start lap number 5. Hopefully we've uh, got a bit of enough gap here on uh, Leclerc. We can... Uh, do some uh, no ERS down this uh, main straight. Maybe, uh, maybe we can, maybe we can't. In fact, look at that gap. We have got a bit of a gap. I wonder if uh, Leclerc's got wing damage because Vettel's going to go down his inside. There's a bit of aggressive driving for you. Down the inside, it's Ferrari on Ferrari violence. As they uh, head through the little kink down to turn two hairpin. Will uh, Leclerc get his man? Yo, not quite. Almost, but not quite. And there we go. I think that is Vettel into P4. It is Vettel into P4. Thank you uh, very much, says the four-time German world champion. As we go through turn five now, down to uh, the chicane, turn number six and seven. And, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, you can do that and get away with it, folks. It must be a... Uh, a little hidden glitch in the game. You can't go uh, too far wide or you're going to end up uh, getting penalties. And we don't want to, uh, we don't want to earn penalties around here, but uh, Sebastian Vettel now being behind us, that's uh, a bit of a worry. Because I'd rather it wasn't uh, Vettel that was behind us, I'd rather it was uh, Leclerc, because Leclerc would roll over and get his tubby tickled. You can see the gap that me and Vettel have pulled on Leclerc already. And we come round to start lap number six. I don't think uh, Vettel's going to get any kind of run. If he is, he's going to have to go around the outside with that run. In fact, no, he's not. He's got no uh, run at all. So we're going to be able to hold on to this for another lap at least. As we go down to P15, the fight for P15 with Danny Kvyat, Sergio Perez and Robert Kubica. That's uh, Kvyat locking the brakes up big time. Kubica took a void in action. He's lost out to Perez because of that move uh, them two into P15 and 16 respectively. Kibitza down to P17 as we go through turn number four into turn number five. You can carry lots of speed through five and uh, the car will just suck the grip right into it as we go ooh that was a I don't know if we were trying to make the corner there or if we were trying to do our little glitch that uh, we found but through turn uh, number eight through turn number nine turn ten practically not there Turn 11, let the car run, thank you, goodbye. Now let's see what Vettel is, for half a second behind us, so he's a little closer than he was uh, last time, but hopefully he's uh, not too close. As we uh, go through the first of the two hairpins at the end of the circuit, and then into the next one. Look how wide we're running uh, that, and that is a good job right there. As we uh, head down to start lap number seven, we're uh, defending what essentially is thin air because uh, Sebastian Vettel is there. Well, he's right there, look. 
Let's see what he does. He's going to have DRS going into turn two. Oh, that is it. He's be beating and banging on me here. Right, we're hoeing him out of the way. He is being hoed out of the way. And I will... I will whoop him. The mediums are working very nicely, thank you very much. And uh, they can work for a few more laps if uh, they wouldn't mind. We're in P2 now. Bottas is uh, pitted. And uh, you can see the NGUK and the ICE are starting to wear somewhat as we uh, abuse the uh, chicane a little bit. Well, I say a little bit. We've, uh, we're abusing it a lot, if uh, I must be honest. And now through turn 10 into turn number 11. And now down to the shoots for turn 12. Tyres really do look uh, in good nick. We might be able to go a little bit longer than uh, lap 11. We'll uh, have to see about that. But no ERS. Rich mix, just keep it nice and simple. And then when we come onto the main straight, bump into overtake. And then uh, leave uh, Sebastian. In fact, Sebastian's gone in the pit, so uh, we needn't worry about that. Hopefully, we can uh, get a bit of distance between us and Sebastian. Yes, and uh, come out again P2. We are the de facto race leader. Lewis Hamilton uh, P2. Got Lando Norris in P3. He's not stopped yet. Fair play to Lando. Our uh, tyre situation's uh, looking uh, pretty decent. As we go through turn number four. Give that curb a big old clunk. You can see that we're certainly fast in the uh, first sector. Whether we uh, get anything more in the middle sectors or not is uh, to be determined as we give the curves an old uh, college clunk through the chicane now we're into this twisty section it really is a horrible circuit folks I cannot stress to you enough how much of a horrible circuit the Hungaro ring is not just for setup but uh, if your car's not uh, performing well and uh, certainly some of these uh, cars they have horrible understeer horrible horrible understeer that they were put in with there is a patch coming well by the time I've recorded this the patch will have come but um, for the be purpose of uh, all you lot the patch hasn't arrived on the game yet so we'll have to see uh, what the uh, the patch brings us in terms of general uh, ideas because I know they're talking about uh, improving a lot of uh, things and it's a lot of things that uh, will do the game very very nicely but we're on lap number nine and here comes a, a pass for P15 I assume that's Perez on George Russell let's see what uh, the man Perez does as uh, he goes and overtakes oh big lock up oh no no that was always gonna happen the big lock up from Sergio Perez he's lost all his wing practically oh he's gonna have he's gonna go plummeting down the field he's gonna go plummeting down the field and there's not a lot that uh, he can do to stop it oh, he's got a pit and uh, get that fixed it's not George's fault Sergio just locked the brakes up but uh, you got a feel for George Russell and Sergio Perez in that. It's a 50-50 incident, I would uh, call it. Nothing uh, nothing more, nothing less. Be interesting, because I don't see uh, Sebastian on the minimap. I wonder where Sebastian is. Sebastian is, uh, is nowhere in sight, uh, really. As uh, Valtteri, well, we know where Valtteri Bottas is. He's right on the rear end of uh, Lando Norris, and that's uh, a pass as easy as you like. Bloody hell, Valtteri, you passed him like he was just standing there. It's like uh, he didn't even move. Maybe he didn't move. Who knows? Okay, we need some energy harvesting. But certainly coming into point. turn number four, I, I, I've got a feeling the next clip might be Sergio Perez. I hope it's not, as we get a big tank slapper through turn number five. <coughs> Everything seems to be uh, going well at the moment. Still, we're worried about the NGUK and the uh, ICE. And their, their components, which have got to last uh, until Singapore. 
but uh, they may not last until Singapore as uh, Kvyat goes up the inside of Perez. Yeah, look at the damage to the right side of the wing of uh, Perez there, folks. That is uh, some awful, awful damage for the uh, for the Mexican. You, you have to uh, you have to feel uh, for that there. That is a hell of a lot of damage to that wing, and through no fault uh, of his own, as uh, we now come on to lap 11. This is our uh, pit stop lap. So uh, we're going to be coming in at the end of this lap, and uh, that's what we uh, that's what we like. Hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can get, uh, well certainly we'll get uh, passed by Hamilton and Bottas. I mean look at the mediums, they're actually doing uh, not too bad. As uh, we go to the other Toro Rosso uh, chasing down uh, poor Sergio, Alex Albon, that's P17. And you've got a feeling Giovinazzi and Kabitza are going to pass uh, the Mexican anytime soon. He's just had a horrid weekend this weekend. As good as uh, Germany was, he's having a poor Hungary. Hopefully he'll uh, make up for that around Belgium uh, in the next episode. But uh, here we go. They're going to come in uh, this lap. We think the mediums have uh, just about uh, outstayed their welcome. Hamilton with the uh, fastest lap. Let's see if we can uh, take that uh, away from him as we come into the pit stop here at the uh, Hungarian circuit. Looking, uh, looking rather serene. So there go the two Mercs. Now where's Sebastian? Sebastian is around here somewhere. I don't know uh, where he is. The Mercs are, are gone, essentially. Here we come out the pit lane, and I don't see. Se Who's that to our side? Who is that on our side? That's Sebastian. Wow, the overcut has worked. That is Sebastian Vettel going to try on the outside of turn two. No, you don't. You you get back and you stay there, you German whatever. I cannot believe the overcut has worked. He's going to try and get into turn four. That's a, oh, a bit more contact. And oh, that well, that was always going to end in tears. There was uh, a lot of uh, pushing and shoving. And uh, finally push came to shove and uh, I shoved him out the way. He tried to push me and I shoved him as uh, Sergio locked his brakes up while being passed by Antonio Giovanazzi for P18. Oh dear. Poor Sergio, man. He, he, doesn't, uh, he doesn't deserve this. But speaking of uh, deserved, Sebastian Vettel deserved everything he got there for even trying to think that he could uh, push me off the track. Well, he got me pushed off the track and then he got uh, some back that he didn't like. And I'm pretty sure that uh, he didn't uh, like it as well. Well, if he didn't like it, then uh, that's tough luck on you, Sebastian. We got uh, Lando You're Norris in the pit lane. It. He might have a good weekend this weekend, Lando. I'm uh, looking at probably. Uh, I hope he has a top ten finish. Certainly, if I overcut on the mediums, he should be uh, overcutting on mediums. I think he's come out in that uh, traffic. Uh, I know he's uh, just coming out the pit lane now. Uh, so he might uh, come out around about Devon Butler, I think, uh, on the soft tyres. That would be uh, interesting. And here's uh, the final nail in the coffin for Sergio Perez being passed by Robert Kubica for P19. Such a shame, folks. Such a shame. Big lockup from uh, Robert. But look at the damage to the right side of the wing plates of that... Uh, Sorry, the left side. I do apologise. As you look at it, it's the right side. It's the left side uh, as I look at it. But uh, there's not a lot uh, he can do about that. If he doesn't uh, change it, then he can't do uh, the combined total of anything. But we're certainly pulling away from Sebastian. I hope Sebastian's got some wing damage. Because uh, that would be uh, interesting. As uh, we see... Look at Lando Norris go up the inside of... Uh, is that Grosjean? That is Grosjean for P11. So he actually came out with the other Haas. 
And where's Devon Butler? I don't know. He's, he's somewhere around uh, there. Hopefully he's uh, not too far away. There's Meanwhile, we're uh, pulling away for Sebastian. I would say give chase to Bottas, but uh, don't strain the engine in uh, trying to get him. We need this engine for next week. Because uh, the Kemmel straight is uh, going to be the uh, doing of us. Hopefully it'll uh, it'll be the doing of us. But you never know with this uh, Mercedes uh, powertrain as we uh, give the curbs a bit of uh, non-respect. <laughs> I think that's uh, what we'll call it uh, in that chicane. But lap 14, we certainly have been uh, on fire here. It's, uh, it's all looking uh, very, uh, very good indeed for this uh, podium. Another podium in another race. Can you uh, honestly believe that we are uh, saying that, that folks? I I don't believe we're saying that uh, at times, but uh, this car is just slowly outperforming itself. It's, it's either we're outperforming it or it's outperforming us. But we're dri we are certainly feel like we're driving the wheels off this thing as we go to Lando. He's really caught up to Devon Butler here. Look at this, he's going to be for P10. Go on, Lando. Go around the outside of him, show that pompous whatever. He's got the hard tyres on. Hard tyres against the soft tyres. Lando Norris should drive rings around him and be done with him. He has drove rings about him. Although La Butler's going to keep there, but no, P10 will go uh, Devon Butler out of. And uh, in will go Lando Norris. Ha <laughs> ha, screw you. We seem to be pulling away from Sebastian, and I don't think it's because of these soft tyres, that's uh, for damn sure. You can see that uh, we're in rich mix, we've got, uh, we're not using the ERS, we're managing that uh, very nicely. We've got 100% charge if we need to use it, we don't need to, because we're not catching the two Mercs at the front, and we're not uh, under attack from the Ferrari behind. So this is a, a bit of a comfortable P3, if uh, you ask me. I certainly like to think it's a comfortable uh, P3. Might not be so comfortable uh, a P3. There's three laps of fuel remaining. Into turn uh, number one we go. So I had to go a little, a uh, little quiet there because there was a. Uh, Problem with my uh, problem with my throat. As you can imagine, I've done four of these videos. It's been the first time I've done uh, a mass recording like this in a while, and we've had to because, uh, <laughs> well, you can guess why. Because <sighs> we're we're coming up to our holiday, and we've got to make sure everything is uh, in place for uh, when we go on holiday. Because if it's not, we're going to be coming back and uh, coming back into a bit of trouble. But over the curves we go on lap number sixteen through turn 7, through turn 8. This is uh, the rough uh, point of the series when uh, these uh, soft tyres start to give up uh, their signs of life. And uh, hopefully they, uh, they don't give up uh, any signs of life. I'd like to think that... Uh, I'd like to think that uh, we'd be able to uh, keep these uh, in fresher nick until we get to the end of the race. But we're, you can certainly see Sebastian's nowhere on the minimap. He's uh, dropped off by four seconds. So we've had the we have had even though we've uh, had the wrong strategy, we've uh, made it work for us as uh, Lucas Weber gets past Roman Grosjean here down the main straight. That's for P12. Move the German uh, into P12, the Frenchman down to P13, and we can just carry on on our merry way as we set uh, fastest first sector, well, personal best first sector, I should say. Whether it'll be a fastest lap or not, I haven't a clue. But uh, through the chicane, turn six and seven we go, now into turn number eight through nine. A little wide through 9, go through turn 10 as well. See if we run wide through turn 11. Yes, we do. 
almost into the wall on the outside. That could have been uh, embarrassing through turn 12. And then into the uh, revamp turn 13. Round turn 13 into turn 14. Lewis Hamilton started the final lap. Valtteri Bottas is just starting it now. And uh, here we come to start the, uh, the final lap the of the uh, Grand Prix. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. One to go. Vettel is just dropped off. He's dropped off by a good bit. I wonder if he did sustain some damage uh, in that uh, little tete-a-tete -tete we had uh, going into turn four. He deserves it. He tried. He's been beating, banging on me all weekend, and he got some what he deserved. He doesn't like it. He's uh, backing off like a, a little bridge, as uh, they say. Yeah, we're, we're just going to start turning the engine, uh, well we should start turning everything down, because uh, Bottas is uncatchable. Hamilton certainly won't be uh, caught today. It's going to be another stellar weekend for us. We're going to finish uh, P13, P3, I only said P13 there, it'd be hilarious if we did finish P13. We'd wonder then, what the hell were we doing all weekend? But uh, coming out of the last corner, Lewis Hamilton for Mercedes-Benz will win the Hungarian Grand Prix. Great result for him and his teammate Valtteri Bottas will bring home second place. We'll be there in just a second, gentlemen, because coming out of the last corner, it's going to be another podium for the Racing Point team. It's P3! Get in! Nice work. You did well today. I think the boss will be happy with that one. Rather enjoyed that race. Ha <laughs> ha, suckers. So, another fantastic victory for the Silver Arrows. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Let's have a quick look at how the driver's standings have changed. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Well, it's absolutely got to be Alexander Albon, no hesitation. He put in the performance today that's only going to build further upon his already growing reputation. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for the next one. Yeah, that's what Ferraris get for even thinking they could go up against me. I will hoe Ferraris out the way and enjoy doing it at the same time. And if you can believe it, we actually uh, had a faster car than Valtteri Bottas <laughs> over a lap. But we finished third. Lewis Hamilton with the victory. Bottas in second. We finish uh, third. Ahead of the two Ferraris. That's uh, what they both get for thinking that uh, they were anything uh, decent. Nico Hulkenberg with a good finish uh, in sixth and uh, Gasly, Verstappen, Ricardo, and Norris brings home another point for uh, for McLaren. So he's uh, he's doing well, is uh, Lando. Yeah, we're not going to talk about We'll talk about that uh, in the garage, Sergio, what uh, what happened there. I'll, uh, I'll put an arm around you. We'll have a drink while uh, we discuss that. But first, I've got to go discuss some stuff with Claire. Oh joy. Uh, yes, Claire! Let's have your thoughts. You can have my thoughts with pleasure. Be happy with the I am today. absolutely ecstatic with the result today. Um, it's looking good for the next race as well. We all underestimated you, didn't yes. We? But you underestimated the team. You didn't underestimate me, you underestimated the team. Just feels great I can live up to it. 
That's everything. Oh, all right. Whilst he didn't have uh, much he wanted to say to us. You won't hear me complain. We should get Devon at uh, Belgium. Belgium where it's all unpredictable. <laughs> so, nice race bonus. Team goals bonus as well. 958, 1358. That is going to be enough. Ladies and gentlemen, to um, get the uh, get the engine upgrade for Monza. Fantastic podium, well done. Keep pushing like this for the. We race. like an engine upgrade for Monza. So, contract negotiation. Sergio, I'm afraid time has come to be booted. So we'll take the hard. We'll take nine eight. We want that. Want that, want that, and we want that. I don't think we're asking for too much. Give us our contract. They are oh. coming round to that proposal. Let's try something right. else. Yeah, they didn't go for that one. So let's uh, let's hire these up a bit. Let's go sixth and third. See if that works. There you go. Has been the Just need a bit of tweak. I was having them fucking perks, whether they wanted them or not. And I don't care if they didn't like them or not. Them perks were going on that uh, chart. So that'll all come in for the next one, folks. Should be... Uh, should be fun around Belgium but uh, in the meantime one does believe that uh, we are going to have to go and uh, sort this engine out because we want this engine upgrade for Monza you can see that we got a couple of chassis coming in for Spa we sorted them out during practice and qualifying but this was the big enchilada right here? If we can unlock that, we can we can go to be the best engine on the grid. And around Monza, that means everything. Trust me when I say that means absolutely everything. We can't spend the other 496 on everything, so which does mean we can't get the upgrade we want for Singapore. So we can try. But then again, I think we've got an R&D reset coming. You always get one in the first season. <coughs> Excuse me. But there we go. We've got two chassis for Belgium and a power upgrade for Italy. And we've got the ICE ready to scream enough uh, as the time arrives. And the MGU-H as well. And I think the turbocharger is starting to go as well. So we may have to take a new ICE, a new... MGU H and a new turbocharger for Monza. We certainly take a new gearbox right about now. We can uh, order that. That's uh, absolutely fine. We've done the six races on it. Perfect allocation. And there's the championship, folks. Look at that. Look at that run since uh, Mon Monte Carlo. And we've got Spa and Monza coming up next. But guys, hit the like button. Ten likes on the video. Let's see if we can get there. Um, and you can subscribe for daily F1 2019, NASCAR Heat 3, WRC 7, Snooker 19, as well as other live streams that happen throughout the week. And until next time around the circuit, Spa-Francorchamps, we will see you all next time. Ta-ta for now.